What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jonathan with Poise Tech and today we're going to be looking at how to use the PageFly page builder app to design awesome pages for your Shopify store. You can do anything from product pages to landing pages to your about us page. So let's dive into the computer. I'm going to hop into my Shopify dashboard and show you how I design pages. All right, so let's take a quick look at the pricing plans before we hop into building out pages. And I wanted to show you guys this because PageFly has a cool free option where you can design pages for absolutely free. Now you only get three free pages and you don't actually get product pages or collection pages, but if you want to make just a sweet landing page and test out three different landing pages, then you can use this for completely free. Uh, you can also use the pro features during your free trial and if you decide that you want to downgrade to free after that pro trial, then you get to keep all those pages, you just can't update them. So let's take a look at how to add a page here and just a quick uh, side note, if you guys do decide to uh, use this app, then you can use my link in the bio. It helps me out and helps me to continue creating awesome content for you guys. So let's pick a template here and I can scroll down and create templates by product page, collection page. Um, it's a real nice filter system. And so I want to do this gym product as my layout. So I'm going to start with this template. I can do a lot really quick just to build off what they've already given me. So I'm going to click on this section to pull it up over here on the right panel. And then I can select my own product that I want to work with and it'll just populate that for me. So I'm going to use this lemon sprayer that I sell because I have a food website. It's foodillium.com if you want to check it out. And then I can easily uh, update this other stuff. So let's say I want to make this section pop a little bit. So I'm going to click on the entire section, go to styling, and then background. I can edit the color right here and give it a green color. And that's going to kind of pop out so that it catches your attention. Uh, one other quick thing that I want to do up top here is on my product page, I really want to edit the styling on that button and I want to make the button as big as possible because this is a landing page and I want to convert buyers. So you see how that changing the font size just made that button a little bit bigger. I, I'm going to keep these pictures for now, but if I want to uh, edit the text on any of this stuff, I just click right into it. It is a visual editor. Buy my product today. And then we have a YouTube video here. So if you do have any custom videos made for your products, uh, you can easily add them right here just by pasting in the YouTube link. Boom, done. New video. And then we have all these nice uh, product photos and information. Uh, let's say I don't want all of this text because it's very text heavy and I'm just you know, trying to get people to buy immediately. I just click on the section itself if I want to get rid of that full section and then hit the delete button right here. Boom, it's gone. Uh, as soon as I want to do this and I'm not decided that this is a good looking page design, then I can just hit save and publish right here. And that's going to publish as my product page. And let me tell you, this is going to be a much better looking product page than your baseline product page that you're getting with Shopify. Uh, it really allows you to add a lot to the design that's going to uh, convert a lot of new users and bring you a lot of new customers. So one other thing that you can do is you can add elements here on the left side and we do have also countdown timers which you can use and what you would do is you would just grab it and then pull it over here and drop it in whatever section. So you're probably going to want to drop it uh, in a section that's custom. So buy my product today, we'll add something in there about how it runs out uh, in a certain amount of time and then I don't like how small this is, so I'm going to make it fitted over here. And now it fits the full width of the page. And since it's on a timer, we're going to end deal and soon. Now, as soon as I'm done with this page and I want to publish it, I'm just going to hit save publish and that's automatically going to update to my product page. I'm not going to do it during this demo because this is not the product page that I want to use. Uh, but you get the point. And then I'm going to show you real quick here before we end one quick page that I actually made for my website and I'm still using today to convert new subscribers. So it's nice to have this page builder to just do everything for me. It's got a nice parallax slider at the top, a little bit about the challenge, and then each day we have a new photo and a little bit about what you're supposed to do that day. And then down here at the bottom we do have a product that you can check out and buy if you want to. And I combine this with a pop-up that's uh, custom tailored to hit just on this page and to land me some new subscribers. Uh, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoy using PageFly. 
Leave some comments below if you have any questions and I will make sure to help you out.